Okay, so this vise was my grandpa's that uh, somebody gave to him, I guess. I don't know the story behind it, but I know he's had it for, I don't know, probably since the 1950s. Um, so I used a Vapo rust and uh, to remove this thing was full of rust when I got it. So I use that stuff right there. So. I'm going to put this thing together. I'm going to mount it over here. So. <clears throat> I wish I would have took a video of the uh, the actual uh, me dismantling this and putting it in the uh, evapo rust, but it really worked well. It's got a tight fit on it. Okay, so I would say this thing is now assembled, and um, well, let's just let's do this just for fun. Put on the scale, see what it weighs. Mm, about fifteen and a half. Hmm. Okay, so the next plan is to remove this. Move you back a little bit here. I'm going to mount it right here. Like this. <clears throat> yeah, right about here. So. Looks like that'll work. Okay, so let's get this. I think this is how I want it. Pretty much as close without, you know, a little room for your fingers. I think right about here. So I'm going to mark spot here, spot here here there's my three spots all right very good all right So you can see I used to have a different vise here a long time ago. That was, uh, that was scary. That's me. Hey, Drilling and putting this uh, vise in. Too bad under here. Okay. I'm just gonna mount it on there. Alright, let's mount this thing now. That's why I bought longer bolts because I want to do this now. I'm going to use these longer guys. What was that, Claire? I think we're going to use these. Let's cut to something real quick. Claire, are you tired? The 
rain is gone. We had a thunderstorm earlier and Claire was pretty scared. But I think she's doing better now. Good job, Claire. <laughs> All right, you do it till you hear wood crunching, right? This one will go. Should work. Let's clamp that on here. Okay. Okay. So, pretty good. The brand is a Colombian. Vice. Ohio. Hmm. 